The Ultimate ArcCAD template gets better every single month, and this month it gets better twice. The other week we talked about bathrooms and every detail inside it. Now we're going to talk about bedrooms. And the reason I'm dropping two videos this month on the ArcCAD template is because bedrooms are their own beast, but they aren't exceptionally complex. So I almost felt like I was robbing you guys if I just released bedrooms as a whole month experience. So let's talk about what we have in front of us. It seems relatively simple, right? We've got a bed, a couple bedside tables, TV unit, a TV. Awesome. What could be so complicated about it? Well, on the right hand side in my 3D objects under bedrooms, if we double click into that and zoom out, we'll see there is a series of different objects that we need to consider and think about. First of all, here in Australia, we have so many types of different mattresses and beds that I've had to create three entire rows specific for it. So we've got the Super King, which is obviously absolutely massive. 2.03 by 2.03 meters end to end. It can sleep four people comfortably. But the Super King is a rare item in most people's home. Generally, you'll see a king bed in most master bedrooms and then a queen in all of the other bedrooms throughout the house. Occasionally, you'll see a double if the rooms are quite small. And then the long single, the, the king single and the single itself for kids' rooms. Now, if we're talking real babies, then of course we have a little cot down the bottom as well, which is teeny tiny and super cute compared to all the other beds. Now, like I said, we have three individual columns for beds. We have beds with two bedside tables, beds with one bedside table, and beds with no bedside table. Now, the reason for that specifically is the bed with bedside tables is its own object and you cannot remove both bedside tables. You have to create an entirely new object for the bedside table free option. Then additionally, we have some bits and pieces that we want to talk about. So these aren't actually in my master bedroom suite. So let's copy and paste them in and go back to our 3D. So obviously they're floating outside of our house, which is absolutely fine. First up, we have our artwork because everybody needs artwork. You can place any piece of artwork you want on there, take off the custom and you have this beautiful picture, but you know, modern art is weird. So we'll leave the linen texture. Of course, we have an armchair, which is modeled off something generally out of Nick Scarly which is a relatively high-end furniture store here in Australia. Not top of the range, but you know, middle to high. So we have a meter wide chair by 980 as our starting point for something that we need to think about. The reason I don't have it in my actual model is if we go to drag it into the space, you'll see it's probably just a little bit too big for my bedroom itself. So I've opted not to put it in at all. After the fact, we have a custom TV unit, fluted doors, stone tops to match the kitchen and a little bit of an open section in the middle. Now, this is a generic TV unit, which I'll reuse in the living room as well and create a few other extras when the time comes. So make sure you subscribe for that episode of this series. But generally speaking, it's a typical TV unit, nothing too special about it. But something that you have to think about the depth and the width. You see, 480 isn't your typical depth. And then you also have to allow for the cable holes and everything after that. So realistically, you want a good 530 off the wall from the front of the TV unit to accommodate for everything clean in a TV unit. Next, we have our day bed, which once again has been modeled on a particular style in Nick Scarly. It isn't as pretty as the Nick Scarly one, obviously, because we're using Arcad furniture. And as we all know, Arcad furniture is terrible. So where I can, I am downloading custom objects, which are part of the library, of course. And then the last two objects on our list is the tall boy, which features six drawers in this scenario. And is a very, very common item in Australian households, especially in the older generation or where you don't have enough wardrobe space. And just like the tall boy, we have our dresser behind. Again, three big drawers on both sides, a total of six modeled for the most common dresser and tall boy sizes available in the market. So that way, if you wanted to add any of these items into your master suite, you could go ahead and just drag and drop them in. Additionally, in the master bedroom 3D category, we have two additional items. Tech with two types of TVs in two sizes, 55 and 65, one on a stand. As for the little 3D, little designer stand and one wall mounted which is what I've got in my model. And then finally, we have our blinds, our Venetians, our verticals, our sheer curtains, and our double curtains. So for those of you who aren't aware, vertical blinds look something like that, relatively generic in low-end housing here in Australia. And then our Venetian blinds, you know, your typical Romans going up and down. 
So we have our choice of pretty much all the typical blinds available to us except roller blinds because I haven't been able to find good roller blinds to add to this template just yet. So now if we jump back to our 3D and go to our actual master layout, you'll see coming from the bathroom, we've incorporated the king bed with the two bedside tables, the TV unit on the right hand side with a 65 inch TV above. Now that 65 inch TV wall mounted, obviously, because that's what you'd be doing in a scenario like this. On custom joinery, it's a bit, you know, hard pill to swallow, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Lastly, we have our sheer curtain in the background for our double hung window. Then of course, in this model, we have a little bit of plaster work detailing, a little bit of recess on the left, a little bit of recess on the top, LED strip lighting for our 3D render and everything blending seamlessly into our walk-in robe. Like I said, there's not much to a bedroom, but there is enough to keep everybody going. So that's why I dropped this video as a part two to the July release. Having said that, that is all for me today, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you grab a copy of the Ultimate Arcade template through Patreon, hit the subscribe button, and like always, I'll see you next week.